In this video, we're going to talk about using and calling functions. One of the greatest powers of modern day programming languages is being able to access and use pre-built in functions to the language or using functions that you wrote yourself. The syntax or how you have to write things out in order to call a function is very similar to constructing a function header. So let's look at single output functions. Suppose I had a function called mySum that I just wrote and that's saved in my current folder. And let's say I wanted to use this function in the command window. So in my command window, which I'll designate with these arrows, all I would have to do is say the name of the function, which is my sum, and then provide the inputs in parentheses. So let's say I wanted to find out the sum of three and five, and that's all. So the way that I have things currently written here, I'm not assigning the output of my function to a certain variable. So by default in MATLAB, if you don't assign, or if you don't assign your output to a certain variable, the output will automatically go into the default variable that's called ANS, which is short for answer. So once again, the default variable is ANS. You don't want to rely on this default variable, so it's always good practice to assign your functions to some sort of output. So let's say I wanted to assign the output of this function to some variable that I call, let's just say a. So then now I'll be calling that function, my sum, with inputs three and five, and then I'll get the sum back as eight. So now let's talk about functions with multiple outputs. So I have an example here of a function called plus minus percent, and this function takes in a number and takes in a percentage, and it has two outputs. The first output will be the original number plus a certain percentage of that number, and the second output will be the original number minus a certain percentage of that number. So for example, let's say my inputs were six and 50%. Um, so let's say I want to take half of six and add it to it, and half of six and subtract it to it. So my first output should be nine, and my second output should be three, because half of six is three. Okay, so let's talk about how to call this function. So in my command window, which I will designate with the arrows again. Um, so once again, remember, it's always important to assign um, your function call back to some certain variable. So let's say I had a variable a, and I assign that to plus minus percent And I have my inputs here. So my inputs are six and 50, right? So right now I'm calling the function as if it only has one output. And this is problematic uh, because MATLAB will only return back the first output. If I have a function with multiple outputs and I want both of them back, I have to explicitly tell MATLAB, hey, I want two outputs from this function. In order to do that, all I have to do is, on the left-hand side of my assignment operator, in square brackets, have two variables, plus, minus, percent, and six and 15. So then now, when I'm calling this function, I'll get both of my outputs back in two separate variables, where the first one, A, will be whatever's inside of the first output, which is plus, and the second one, b, will have the value whatever is inside of the second output, which is minus. So a lot of the times when we're writing our own functions, we'll want to execute lines of code or certain tasks that are already done in other functions, whether they be pre-built or functions we wrote on our own. So the power with functions is that you can use functions inside of other functions. So let's do an example of this. Let's say I want to write my own function. So let's start a function header. Function. And let's say I want this function just to be called my func. And I want it to have two inputs, or th for three inputs actually. I want to have two numbers and a percentage. And I want to output two things. 
So we're going to call it, we're going to call these plus and minus. Okay. So this first output, I want it to be the average of the two numbers plus a certain percentage of that average. And I want the second output to be the average of those two numbers minus a certain percentage of that average. So this sounds like we're going to be doing certain things that we've already done in functions in the past. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find the average of my two numbers. So in order to take the average, I have to add them together and then divide by the number of values there are. And so I already have a function that takes in two numbers and adds them together. So we can use the function that we already wrote in this function to do a more complex task. So let's have a variable called, let's use yellow, average, which will be equal to, so we have our other function called my sum. And my sum is going to take in the first number and the second number, right? And so now, at this point in time, this part will return the sum of my two numbers. And then now, in order to find the average of that, all I have to do is divide it by 2. Okay? So I'm using a function that I wrote before to do something in this function. And this line is pretty simple in the sense that I could have wrote another function that just found the average for me instead, rather than just using my sum in this case. So now that we have the average, now we want to figure out our outputs, the plus and the minus. So we have another function that does that for us as well. So we can say plus, minus, and we want to use the function that we wrote before. So plus, minus, percentage, I think it was called percent. Yeah, it was called percent, a percentage. Percent, where this takes in a number and a percentage. And in this case here, the number that we want to take in is the average that we just computed. And the percentage that we want to take in is the third input. So we can just say percent. Okay? And that's it. And we can end our function. So this is an example of writing a function that uses other functions that we already created.